there guys welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new here my name is Debbie and glad to have you here I'm gonna do something a little bit different today one obviously I'm outside in a very different location than what I usually am because I'm waiting I've got an appointment that it's gonna take a while anyway I thought I wanted to cover a couple things my last video I covered I, we, we talked about how I use social media to actually get people to your videos and the different types of things that you can do and why one of the things that I didn't cover um, actually was pointed out by one of my viewers thank you very much was Twitter if you have not added that to your social media repertoire to get your videos out there that is super simple for me that is just something that I put a tweet out that says hey you know I've got a new video up definitely go check it out might occasionally get some tweet notifications if people respond to that but typically if uh, I get any responses to from Twitter it's via the, the comments in my actual YouTube video. So definitely, if you haven't added that to your list of things to do when you put out a new video, that can bring you some traffic as well. But the one thing that I wanna talk about today, and probably for the next several weeks, is using TikTok to build a following. And I know some of you guys are laughing. I know I've already heard the demographics are like the, the 14 to 20 something year olds. But there's a couple things that I've learned in my short time of being on TikTok. Number one, a lot of older people are getting out there. So, and I say older, okay, the 30 somethings I think the kids are referring to as boomers. So I don't know what that makes me. I did it for a couple reasons. One, I keep hearing v Gary V talk about it. I have listened to Gary V talk about getting on TikTok to, to gain a following forever at this point. And if you haven't heard Gary Vee talk about TikTok, then I'm pretty sure you haven't been listening to Gary Vee. He's pretty right about the social media that he talks about and how to reach out to people. I mean, he knows how to build an audience. So I'm like, okay, I need to get out on TikTok, right? But like I said, the 14 to 20 something, what am I gonna do with TikTok, right? But I did wanna start finding out, like, what can I do? My son and I had come up with a few ideas on the fact that, you know what? Number one, they're not always going to be that age group. They're actually gonna grow up. And I knew that, I know that the, um, you know, the business crowd, the older folks, the, uh, you know, th the, the 30 and over crowd is getting out there. So I thought, you know what, let's go check it out. So here's what I've done. In September of last year, the end of September, I put out my first video and didn't think a whole lot about it, didn't know what to post. It was just something that, you know, off the top of my head, like I used to do my blog posts or, you know, a video that I was doing real quick to put out to Facebook. Whatever was on the top of my head for the day, you know, I put it out there and I let it go. If there was, there was a few comments here and there, surprisingly a lot faster than what I ever saw on YouTube. So I know that definitely people will see your content faster. So that's one thing I've definitely learned in the short time that I've been out there. I kept posting a video here and there, okay? Not a whole lot. Before Thanksgiving, I literally had roughly 16 videos out there, 33 followers, and I don't know exactly how many views. Anywhere from teens to maybe a couple hundred views on videos. I'll go back and double check and I'll show you guys on the analytics later. So anyway, I just kind of kept an eye on it here and there. Thanksgiving day, I had to drive over to Bakersfield. For those of you guys that don't know, I drive a big rig for a living. I drove over to Bakersfield. We ran into a lot of snow, a lot of the road closures over in California. So we all got routed onto one road. So between massive traffic being routed together, snow that Californians aren't typically used to, there ended up being an accident because they're not used to it. And we got to a point where there's road construction on a bridge over there outside of Tehachapi. Needless to say, I spent like two and a half, three hours in stop and go traffic and it was taking forever. For the most part, everybody was cruising along just fine because it, you know we all knew there wasn't a whole lot we were gonna be able to do about it. I happened to have this one guy that decided he took the uh, right-hand shoulder past three big rigs, cut between two in the right lane, and then jumped out in front of me. And I didn't think he was gonna come across all the way because we were all shifting left, uh, to the right. And so when he did, it caught me off guard. I almost got him, so I laid on my horn. Well, pretty sure, best as I can guess, that pissed him off. He got in front of me and he started brake checking me. Brake checked me twice and I turned on my video so that I would at least have, you know, something to show somebody if I ended up hitting him what was going on. Anyway, didn't think a whole lot about it, got to the hotel. Friday, I edited the video to cut out like the just driving along in the middle and just show where he was brake checking me. Threw it out on TikTok. Didn't think a whole lot about it. Posted a couple more videos over the weekend. And then when I went to post a video on Monday. So you figure Friday I had 33 followers and uh, 17 videos totally post, to total posted. So on Monday I went to go post the, my thing out there and that particular video had like 34,000, 33 or 34,000 views. <laughs> and I was shocked. Okay. I called my son because I'm like, Hey, I don't know what just happened, but 
the videos that we've been doing, I said I just went from from a few hundred here and there to this particular video got 34,000 views. And to me, that's not viral on, t on, on YouTube. Viral to me is like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views, right? But for TikTok, and in particularly for my account, 33,000 views was a lot. And I didn't understand why. So over the next week I posted, I literally went from 33 v uh, followers to over 3,000 followers. And I'm like, okay, it's time to do some serious, let's take a look at TikTok, let's see how we can build an audience. So I've been posting videos since, and that's why I say I'm gonna start posting some more TikTok videos, because number one, as an old person on video, and it's funny because the, um, the, the usual TikTok crowd is referring to the 30-somethings as boomers. Um, and I'm finding out that they didn't know what that actually meant. A lot of them didn't know that that had to do with a baby boom. <laughs> so just to give you an idea of folks that are out on TikTok. So I don't know what that makes me because yeah, I have no idea. Anyway, the, a lot of the older folks are getting out there. So it's like, okay, number one, let's go see what we can do. When I first started getting followers, it was sort of weird because a lot of the followers were the, what I would consider kids, okay? It was the under 20 crowd or under 25 crowd. So I didn't know what to do with that, but I have learned a few things about TikTok. You can actually teach it that you are an older person on TikTok so that you can get the kind of content that you want so you're not following a lot of kids. This is what I wanna do over the next several weeks, Right now, my son and I have been evaluating a lot of what we're doing on TikToks, the different type of videos, different types of content, and we have figured out like what different types of uh, interaction with your videos helps you grow. We have learned that TikTok actually does do shadow banning, and we can prove that. We have tested that out. So I think there's a lot we can learn. And I also wanna post just some quick, I don't know, I would call it more TikTok tutorial type things for those of you that are in the over 25 or over 30 crowd. Uh, if you haven't figured out how to use it, it, it would have been helpful for me the first week so that we could navigate faster. So I'm definitely going to put a few tutorials out there on the how to's. I want to start digging deeper into my analytics because at this point I am almost at 10,000 followers. I posted a video yesterday that is at 135,000 views and that original video that I did after Thanksgiving that initially hit 34,000 views. A week ago or two weeks ago, it actually hit 1 million views. I'm gonna start digging into my analytics deeper. I'm gonna see if I can find any sort of trends or patterns on how maybe you can make this happen more often. I don't know if that's possible. I still don't understand TikTok's algorithm. So anyway, if you've gotten any useful information out of this so far, feel free to hit the like button, feel free to hit the dislike button if you're bored and you don't like what I'm saying. And for those of you guys that wanna learn about TikTok, definitely hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell icon next to it, that way you'll get notified when I put out a new video. And come join me if you wanna come play. Like I said, I wanna see what I can do on TikTok. I wanna see if I can figure out anything that is a better thing to do or a worse thing to do, things not to do, best practices, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I figure out and everything that I test. So if you wanna come on board, come join me. And in the meantime, guys, like I always say, life is short, man. Go make it happen. See ya.